natural hazards have huge impacts worldwide on water, energy, food security, infrastructure, human livelihood and health. The recent major flood in Pakistan, for example, killed about 1,500 people, affected about 33 million people across the country, and cost about 30 billion US dollar of economic loss. These record floods resulted from heavy monsoon rain combined with glacial melt caused by an extreme heat wave. I'm Raphael Huser, an associate professor of statistics at KAUST, and my group work revolves around the statistical modeling and prediction of such possibly compound extreme events to better understand their drivers and, if used appropriately by other researchers, stakeholders or authorities, ultimately improve risk assessment, management and prevention planning. I joined KAUST in 2014, initially as a postdoctoral research fellow and I'm currently a core faculty member in the STAT program at SEMSI, the Computer, Electrical and Mathematical Sciences and Engineering Division. My research group addresses pressing local and international topics, primarily focusing on the modeling and statistical inference of extreme events arising from complex spatial, temporal or spatio-temporal processes with a wide variety of applications, ranging from environmental and neurosciences to finance in cryptocurrency and traditional markets. Some real environmental data applications that we've been looking at over the past few years include modeling extreme sea surface temperatures for the whole of the Red Sea and assessing climate change's impact on the frequency, severity and spatial extent of European heat waves. We have also looked at the prediction of space-time hazards for rainfall-induced or earthquake-induced landslides occurring in different regions of the globe. An essential part of the research that we do in my group is to create realistic and theoretically justified statistical models that can be used to describe the occurrence probability and size of extreme events in these various applications, but also to study the theoretical properties of these models. However, because of the ever-increasing generation of massive and high-resolution environmental data sets, and because the statistical models that are needed to analyze such data sets are becoming increasingly complex, Another crucial aspect of my research that goes hand in hand with the modeling aspect is the development of efficient algorithms to fit such complex models to big data sets. For example, we worked to identify extreme sea temperature hotspots over the whole Red Sea, which are regions that are likely to experience high sea temperatures simultaneously. And this is a phenomenon that has an immense environmental and ecological impact. Among them is the survival of coral species and coral reefs, which in turn has implications for Saudi Arabia. Our work is extended to make future projections until the end of the century. One of the main challenges that we faced was the high dimensionality of the problem. Specifically, we had correlated daily observations at more than 16,000 grid cells available over 30 years. Our solution was to introduce some kind of sparsity in the probabilistic construction of our low-rank spatial model, which helps significantly speed up computations without compromising the model's flexibility and accuracy. We combined our statistical model with predictions of Red Sea surface temperature from climate model outputs in order to provide justifiable estimates of hotspots in the future. Recently, I'm also investing quite a lot of time and effort into the development of statistical approaches that combine the theoretical strength and guarantees of extreme value models on one hand, which are robust, resilient and facilitate tail extrapolation, which means the estimation of events that are even more extreme than ever observed in the past. With the power and pragmatism of computationally efficient machine learning methods on the other hand, which have been found to be excellent at prediction and classification tasks, as well as the extraction of complex information from data. Just as an illustration of my recent research efforts in this direction, I want to briefly mention one project with my current postdoc, Jordan Richards. Our goal was to model and predict wildfire risk over the entire contiguous United States. Our proposed approach exploited a model from extreme value theory whose parameters were assumed to depend on a fairly large number of climatic, orographic and land cover characteristics. 
to estimate how and to what extent these coverage were related to observed wildfire burnt areas, available monthly over more than 3,500 spatial temporal grid boxes from 1993 to 2015, we proposed a brand new unifying framework based on artificial neural networks. We were able to show in our experiments and our real data application that our hybrid statistical machine learning model not only outperformed classical statistical approaches by quite a large margin, but also kept the appealing interpretability of these classical statistical models. Our results thus allowed us to accurately identify regions where extreme wildfires are particularly prevalent and also to assess their key drivers. Having access to the CAL supercomputers, Shahin2 and IBEX was really crucial in some of the simulations and big data applications that we did in these projects and so many other projects. CAL's resources from generous research funding to computing facilities really made it a perfect place for me to develop a strong research group and build an international research profile. The CAL's research environment where faculty, postdocs and students can strive openly and frequently interact with each other, discuss research ideas and get regular feedback is ideal for developing novel, creative and successful research solutions. Thank you.